Good morning and welcome to our Lenten devotionals. I'm Chaplain Dawn Holt Lauber. I'm grateful that you're here with me as we begin our day in prayer and praise, in petition to the Lord, in joy and in singing, and giving thanks for all that God has done for us as we read from God's holy word. I'm glad that we can begin our day seeking the will of the Lord in all that we do. Let us be called into worship from the Covenant Book of Worship. Come, my brothers and sisters, let us pray together, for our God is a listening God. Let us sing together, for our God is a joyful God. Let us praise together, for our God is a majestic God. Let us give thanks together, for our God is a generous God. Let us rejoice together, for our God is a loving God. God. Let us continue in our time of worship singing together the hymn, Beautiful Savior, King of Creation. If you have a hymnal nearby or you know this hymn, please join in with me as we sing together. Beautiful Savior, King of Creation, Son of God and Son of Man, truly I love thee, truly I'll serve thee, light of my soul, my joy, my crown. Fair are the meadows, fair are the woodlands, robed in the blooming flowers of spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus is pure. Spirit, see. Fair is the sunshine, fair is the moonlight, bright the sparkling stars on high. Now let us turn to our psalm for today. If you have your Bibles nearby, you can turn in Psalm 46 and read along with me or listen. As you are able and feel led, open your Bibles to Psalm 46 or listen along here. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. 
God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. This is the word of the Lord. We give thanks for God's holy word. Now let us go into a time of prayer. And as I lead us, I will give space for silence so you, wherever you are, can offer your petitions, your praises. Lift up to the Lord the needs and concerns that are on your heart today. Lift up the names of those family and friends that are on your mind today, that have concerning situations that you need to bring before the Lord in petition and prayer. Now let us go to the Lord in prayer and I will lead us also in the Lord's prayer at the end. Let us pray. O oh God, your mercy is infinite, and in your will is our peace. We learn your way so slowly. We choose your will so reluctantly. In this season of learning during Lent, the limitlessness of your love is what we seek to know better, to understand more clearly. Help us, Lord, through the guidance of your Holy Spirit, through the power of your Holy Spirit, to learn the meaning of our Lord's suffering and sacrifice, and to choose his example of humility and service. Enable us to experience and to proclaim that you are mighty to save, you, dear Lord, are mighty to save through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We bring to you now, Lord, the petitions on our hearts today. We lift up to you our loved ones, our friends and family, our neighbors who are suffering today, and all those who mourn. We lift up their names to you now, Lord, in this sacred space of silence. Heavenly Father, we are grateful that you hear us, that you listen and you respond with your love and mercy. Dear Lord, we lift up to you situations around the world that trouble us. We lift up to you workers for the gospel, missionaries around the globe. Here now, as we lift up to you these situations around the world, these countries that are on our hearts today in particular, lifting up to you the names of missionaries, workers for the gospel, now to you, Lord. We give thanks, Lord, that in that sacred space of silence, you hear us, Lord. Our prayers do not go unheard. 
you listen to us and you respond with love and mercy. We lift up to you our leaders. We lift up to you all who are in healthcare, who are working to bring care and comfort and healing to all of those who are suffering during our global health crisis. We lift up to you now, Lord, the names of our countries, our nations, our world leaders, those who lead in our towns and cities. May they be guided by the Holy Spirit. We lift up to you all those that we know who work in health care. We lift up to you those names of people who are suffering from isolation and loneliness, as well as those who are suffering from our global health crisis and the virus. Hear them now, these names and situations in this sacred space of silence. Thank you, dear Lord, that you hear us when we pray. You hear us when we cry from our heart in desperate ways, seeking you and seeking answers, seeking peace and seeking comfort, Lord. Now we join together saying the words that Jesus taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I'd like to share this song with you. If you know it, please sing along with me. King of my heart. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, oh, he is my song, for you are good, good. Let the king of my heart be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the waves, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days, oh, he is my song. You are good. Good, oh, oh, you are good, good, oh, oh, you are good, good, oh, oh, you are good, good, oh, oh. let the king of my heart be the mountains where I run, the fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. 
Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life. Oh, he is my song. You are good, good. Oh, oh, you are good, good. Oh, oh, you are good, good. Oh, oh, you are good, good. Receive now this benediction as we end our time of morning worship together and we go out into our days. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. May you go in peace to love and serve the Lord. I will see you here for our next Lenten devotional. Have a wonderful day.